That is really slimy. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a Florence by Mills skincare and makeup review. I wanted to make this video. For those of you who are considering buying her products, just so you know what's coming for you before you purchase the products. And before I get started, make sure that you subscribe, turn on my post notifications, and also go check out my Instagram and my Visco. You can also go check out my Pinterest now. My username is Karina underscore underscore Natalie, same as my Instagram. Go check that out. A lot of people have been asking for that, so you can go check that out if you'd like. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Because I'm currently in my bathroom. I have my purple sweatshirt on, my purple headband. I am ready for action, people. I purchased five products from the Florence by Mills line, four of them being skincare products, but only one of them being a makeup product. And I actually purchased all these items in person at her New York pop-up shop. And I have a vlog dedicated to that where I met Millie, and I will put it right here in the corner. So the first product that I'm gonna be using is the Clean Magic Face, the Clean Magic Face Wash. And this is just a regular like face cleanser. When looking at her website and also just like her general brand, it's very focused on being very natural and it's mainly centered around like teen skincare. And she's also definitely sort of embracing the whole idea that teenagers shouldn't have to wear that much makeup, which is why everything is so natural and so glowy, dewy, light coverage, all that type of stuff. And also all of her products are vegan, cruelty-free, and there are no chemicals or anything um, harmful like that. The first step that I like to use is the Clean Magic Face Wash, as I was saying. So this is a very, very light face wash and also all these scents in her products are very very natural most of them are a cucumber scent because she likes to put cucumbers in there to kind of cool your skin and refresh it so let's get started with this i'm going to take this face wash and i'm just going to squirt some of it out when it's on my hand as you can tell it's kind of almost like a cream consistency like it's not like a gel or a foaming cleanser or anything like that you can literally barely even tell that it's on my skin it smells like cucumbers and this is a really really nice refreshing smell. It's also really creamy, almost sort of oily in a way. It just feels really, really nice, really light, really creamy, which isn't my favorite consistency for a face wash because I typically like face wash that foams up, but this is really, really nice and natural. Okay, so that was the face wash. I really do like this product. It's definitely very good for like a starting sort of younger person's face wash just because it is so light on the skin, but I think this is really, really nice and really refreshing. The next thing that I'm gonna do is exfoliate and I'm gonna use her Get That Grime face scrub. I've used this a few times and so far I really do like it. It does not break me out at all which is great. It is an exfoliator, but it is still really, really light because it's still keeping it with that whole like not harsh idea and so it does exfoliate get in there you can feel it sort of like scrubbing away at your dead skin it doesn't make my skin like red afterwards it doesn't irritate it or anything like that because i just wet my face and now i'm going to go in with the face scrub so when taking it out of the bottle it looks sort of like a gel but also sort of like a cream it does not look like your typical exfoliator with all the like chunks in it and stuff you can definitely feel the little bits in there and they are not microbeads clean and clear for example is a brand that uses microbeads and when those get washed down into the drain they are really bad for the environment they're really harmful and so she does not put them in this face scrub which is really really good really good for the environment it is actually still very like oily and creamy like i can feel it like in my skin definitely restoring all the moisture so i think this would definitely be good like in the winter time like these products are just really really like oil based creamy and now i'm going to rinse this off and so that was the exfoliator my skin feels very very nice my skin isn't like red or anything like that so it is like a very light exfoliator but it does the trick enough for me because my skin is very sensitive and this product is like perfect for my skin type because my skin is so sensitive and i really really do love that product it's probably my favorite out of everything so the next thing that i'm going to use are her swimming under the eyes gel pads these are like a very big part of her brand basically what these are is sort of like an eye mask to put under your eyes and they cool them down brighten them all that stuff i wanted to get this because first of all they're really cute second of all i have really bad under eye bags i don't know if you can really tell like actually yeah you can tell they're bad i have bad under eye bags and so i really wanted to get this product to see if it would help brighten my eyes so they look like this it's so cute it's like these little whales and you get 60 pads i believe so 30 pairs and so you take the little scooper and you just scoop them out like so These are so cute because they have little glitters inside of them. And I'm supposed to leave them on for 20 minutes, I believe. So I'm going to set a timer and then I'll be back. It's now been 20 minutes, a little bit longer because I was on TikTok. Sorry. 
That is really slimy. Satisfying. My eyes don't necessarily feel like any like cooler right now. They definitely do feel cool when the, when the gel pads are actually on your face. Right now my eyes honestly just feel sticky because I just took them off my face. But when they're actually on, it is actually really cooling. And I think that's really, really cool because I didn't put gel pads like in the fridge or anything like that. So it's cool that like just by having the actual like ingredients and like stuff inside the gel pads cools your eyes down. If that makes sense, I think that's really cool. It definitely like doesn't leave your skin feeling like soft. It is sticky. Not the best feeling ever. Because I wash my face and stuff like that, I'm just going to proceed with my regular skincare. I'm just gonna put on some toner and some moisturizer and then I'll be back. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is put on the Look Alive Eye Balm. As I just mentioned for the gel pads, I have bad under eye bags, clearly. And so I've been trying to test different products to like see if they brighten my eyes or anything like that. So far, nothing has really succeeded. So I've just accepted the fact that my under eye bags are not gonna go away. But if you do have any products that work to like brighten your under eye bags and like actually work, let me know down below in the comments. Please. So yeah, this is the Look Alive Eye Balm. It comes in this little tube like this. Almost looks like a lip balm. And this has a little metal tip applicator. And the purpose of that is to sort of cool down your eyes and to like de-puff them a little bit because it is like metal. Sort of like that trick where you use like the cold like metal spoon to like de-puff your eyes. Sort of similar, I guess, in a way. So I'm just going to squeeze some of this out. I'm just going to rub it like under my eyes. I'm not sure if you're really supposed to use the applicator to actually blend it in. So once I squeeze the product out, I kind of just take the applicator and just like rub it around underneath my eyes just because it feels really, really nice with the metal tip. See, as you can tell, do my eyes look brighter? No, but it is like a really nice like sensation having the cooling tip and it's just really refreshing. It just helps keep my under eyes moisturized and stuff like that. And I use this every morning now, but yeah, I really do like the tip. If the tip wasn't there, I really wouldn't think much of this product, but the tip does make a big difference for me. As you can tell, my like under eye bags are definitely still very, very visible, but it does feel really nice, slightly cooling and hydrating for my under eyes. That is all for the skincare. My skin looks really like glowy, brightened. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is the concealer because that is the only makeup product that I got. It's just in this little tube. It is a very small tube, not gonna lie. I generally do think that this is mainly not to completely cover up your dark under eye circles because Millie really wants people to embrace the imperfections and this kind of just blurs it away a little bit. It doesn't necessarily completely cover it. That's kind of like the purpose of her line. This is the second time that I'm using this concealer and the first time that I used it, I was really not impressed. So I'm gonna do this again and we're gonna see if I like it better. And also I am in the shade L045. And the makeup artist that was doing my makeup in the actual pop up helped me find the shade. And the lighting in there was so bad. I genuinely don't think that this is my actual shade. It's really, really bright, but we'll see how this looks. I'm just going to put some of this on. Because it's such a light coverage concealer, like right when it's just like on my face, it almost looks green because the like undertones of my pink, purple um, under eye bags sort of see through it so it looks like I literally have like green concealer under my eye. That is such a mess. So there's the concealer all applied. It's like a little bit too bright. The consistency is very, very liquidy, which is why I guess it's so light coverage like it does brighten my eyes definitely but the under eye bags are clearly still there like as you can tell like it's definitely there and really quickly i'm just going to set it and throw some mascara on just so you can see what it looks like with some more makeup so yeah that's all the products that i purchased from florence by mills overall i am really really happy about this line honestly i was pretty iffy about it because this is actually my second time filming this video and the concealer was like really really disappointing the first time but for some reason this time i am actually really really happy about it if you look at it on my skin it looks really really good so yeah kind of shook not gonna lie i am really really happy about the skincare portion especially the face exfoliator that is so nice on the skin the skincare is also quite affordable i believe that the exfoliator and the face wash are around $15 each, which I think is a good price, especially for younger people who are looking for skincare. So yeah, I would definitely recommend the exfoliator. That's probably my favorite thing out of this whole line. As for like the gel pads, I think that they are really cute and it's definitely like a nice thing to put on your face when you're trying to 
relax or you're just trying to pamper yourself a little bit but it doesn't have anything like super special to it as for the look alive eye balm i think it's a nice eye cream for my daily routine it feels nice on my skin and it hydrates and um i think it'll be good to repurchase again just because it's a nice staple to have in your skincare routine and it is quite affordable and as for the concealer i am quite happy with it to be honest but yeah overall i am really excited about this line that is it for this review that is millie's skincare and beauty line florence by mills i hope that this review helped you out a lot of people were requesting this and i wasn't actually planning on posting this video on youtube but i'm doing it for you guys so i hope that you enjoyed it and make sure that you subscribe turn on my post notifications and also go check out my instagram bisco and pinterest love you guys all so so much thank you for 70,000 subscribers it means so much to me we are getting closer and closer to 100k which is insane so thank you for that i love you guys so much and just know that your support means the absolute most to me. I spent like an hour last night watching fan edits and stuff like that and it melts my heart. You guys are the best. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye.